passion without action. And I think this is a this is what cereal is that? (laughs) (laughs) Passion without action. That's a thing. What type of tea? Right. What kind of passion fruit? (laughs) That that's what I'm saying a lot about TI. Ooh. Now I don't know what type of action they expect him to have in comparison, but he does does speak very passionately about issues. Mm. He uses words I've never heard of in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, he read a different part of the dictionary. I don't know where he was at with it. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I I I feel like I see it all the time though. <laughs> Tia. Hey, Tia, come on our show because we want to talk to you about your words. Right. I think what throws me off about Ti. In the passion without action is that, and again, I don't know everything that T.I. does for the mm-hmm. community. Again, we shall do some research and come with some facts. We um, should start getting the facts before the episode. <laughs> we always come about, we're going to find those out and tell y'all This is on. not facts. This is just opinion. You'll get the facts later on. Later. But <laughs> what threw me off was that when uh, Ahmaud Aubrey was uh, killed, he posted the address of his killers and say, yo, we need to rise up, the revolution, all this other stuff. Now, when you post the address of his killers, I expected for... Him to be down there? Him to be down down there and for there to be a riot at... And when I don't... Not protest. Riot. Looting. Burn their shit down. That's what I expected from him... Mm. From him posting that, like, what do you, what, what was he trying to get from that? That's why these protests are like on and popping, fun time, fun time. Brunswick, Georgia is really not that far away, and nobody made it down there. Well, they did. No, they went down there. Ti did. Uh, the, or the Brunswick people made it outside. The the Brun- <laughs> they made There's it outside. a difference. <laughs> but but then when people are outside and they're pissed off and they're rioting and burning shit up he's like go home go home da 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 it's like it was very contradictory to me it like it, it's you can have that's both that's why they were mad at um the mayor i saw a bunch of signs about keisha outside but see I, so i will say this it goes back to everybody's role is different Mm -hmm. Right. So her role is not to be out there with the people protesting and stuff like that. Like uh, uh, Muriel Bowser, like she's different. She's out there with the people. She's in the street. Keisha, she is. She keeps showing up in that little newsroom on TV. She is. (laughs) She's supposed to be in the polls. Like everybody's role is different. My thing is, don't tell us to go home. Yeah. Say, hey, there's a little bit of both. And I understand the city of Atlanta is coming up. The whole Black Hollywood thing, no burn down. It was down. the tone, I think, that pissed everybody off. Yeah. Because the message made sense. Like, the message made sense, but it's like, yo, you can tell people to protest peacefully and to get into, go to the polls. It doesn't have to be either or, in my opinion. You need both. You need people in the streets, and you also need people at the polls. And and to me, it seemed like she was just saying, get out the streets, go that's to the why, polls. That's why I think it was the tone of it, because when she came on, it was after the looting started. It was after the throwing bricks at the CNN building. It was after all that. So, of course. I, see, and I don't, I don't think that was us. It wasn't, but that's a conversation for another day. It is, it is. But Ti, he like the passion without action. It's it's a lot of. Don't just speak what you hate so much. You have to have some type of action, and I'm not saying that you have to be on social media saying something because we all know that shit is fake. I could care less about my black friends, non-black friends, all that saying something on social media. That's fake. Do something. Yeah. Don't have so much passionate, don't have so much like passionate hate and so much all of this and you're not doing nothing. Yeah. Like do something. And I don't know what the something is. You have to figure that out for yourself. Educate people. Don't just use a bunch of words. That's where I think like it's about finding your role as we keep stressing because people think 
because everybody's protesting, let me go outside and protest. And you feel like your duty's done. No. Find where you find comfort. Find where you find understanding. I didn't learn anything when I was out there. I didn't th- feel any different. I want to learn something about the situation. I want to be able to approach situations differently. I don't want to just leave this being ignorant and hating fucking white people. I don't want to do that. That's right. Or hating or the hating, police. Yeah, hating or the hating, police for yeah, what? I like, don't want to do that. Let's learn something. No, there's some good ones, there's some bad ones. The good ones, the bad ones. Good ones, bad ones. Right, wrong. Like, let's learn something. People are weird. I just can't stress it enough. Yeah. Just, you know, learn your role. Educate yourself. And, and something as simple, there was a girl on Instagram where she was... She, you know, she wasn't out there protesting, but she was like, what can you put on your on your sign, you know, and she was showing different, like, things that you can put on your sign. That is action. Yeah. You know, that is Even action. Even small gesture is action. Because we, <clears throat> we couldn't figure it out. Posting resources, like, we didn't even really get into it, the whole Blackout Tuesday thing, how people missed the, <laughs> missed Yeah, we didn't. We went off missed, on a tangent. Yeah, <laughs> missed the whole point, like. You know, I first saw the post about Blackout Tuesday, meaning it was supposed to be something where we basically blacked the internet out with information regarding the the protest and what's going on and information and resources and flooding our Instagram pages with information about, you know, whatever's happening in our towns and our cities, what's happening in the world, what we need change with, stuff like that. But it was like... Who came up with that, though? A bunch of... I, I heard it was a... Um, not a news label, a, a music label, a record company, when it was supposed to be not downloading stuff or not, like, listening to certain music. I don't know. I could be misspeaking, but, like, I could be misspoken, but I don't, I don't really know. There was a couple of posts going around that, hey, saturate the Internet with basically black information, like stuff we need to know, resources, protests, George Floyd, George and Floyd. And that, that, that made sense. And it makes sense, but then we wake up, <laughs> on Tuesday, I can't lie. I posted and you see on all of our accounts just black, 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 and it was black, like black, oh. black, black, black. That's I'm like, damn. Like, and then I went back and I deleted them all because even when after I posted, I was like, wait, this doesn't even feel right. And then you find out that it was on election day, the primaries mm-hmm. for certain states, and I was like, oh, sabotage. And that's what everybody. Then I started seeing the whole. It could be the stupidest thing. You know, you're still making these people money. You're logging into their site. You're reposting. You're still, you know, whether it's a black thing, a hashtag, whatever. Whoever still is making profit off of this. So, you know, saturated with what we need to. So, I, I you know, it kind of, it was felt, you know. I think there was like 30 million participants. So was, yeah, I just think we were it all was confused. Felt, it's like, damn, like I wish <laughs> we can hit the mark. Sometimes. Yeah. And then now it's this I am female thing. I am a I'm black, a black woman. man. I'm a black man. I'm a black woman. I'm a little confused by that, too, because what does that have to we do? We just tagging people that's black and that are black and putting this caption. I just I wish I knew because I am wagon bunnies. That's I've all been tagged a few times, but I can't bring myself to actually post for it because I don't. <laughs> you should repost it and say, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what it's for. I don't understand what the purpose like we're we're fighting a very specific fight. <laughs> I'm telling you, we missed the mark. <laughs> and now it's like people are coming up with all these things Other to things like to do. And I and I understand like we have to you know, it's it's not just one thing, but like we need to stay focused campaign. That's what it is. Stay focused because it's George Floyd was killed. He was unarmed. He was killed by police. On camera. On camera. And these men didn't get arrested or charged until we went out there and raised hell. Yeah. And I don't know. Yes, I am a black woman. I am a black man. I get it. But don't lose sight of what we're doing right now. How about we do that later? (laughs) Like, Hey, not yeah. It- there's a lot. Like I, I feel like with all this that we're doing, like even the blackout thing, like all this is like what? Yeah, so just like, coming up with shit to do because the world is at attention on the internet, and right everybody now. feels like they have, have to, to do, do something. something. Like let me create this. Like no, somebody needs to start a stay focused campaign. Black people, 
we need to figure out the um, the Stay. rate of ADHD <laughs> in the black community because I'm trying to tell you, we are so confused sometimes. 